Good afternoon, friends and family. My name is Charlie Van Eich and I will be leading the service in memory of Luke Eric Jonker today. We welcome our online congregation, wherever you may be watching from, and thank you for joining us today. Luke was born on the 15th of June 2021, just seven months ago. Today is honestly a sad day because Luke's heart just could not cope and he passed away on the 20th of January. Our sincere condolences to Gabriel and Shannon for your loss and we extend those condolences to the extended family and friends. A couple of notices, there are bathrooms off in the rain that way, there are bathrooms off in the rain in that direction. Um, there was eats and things organized in tea and coffee, but if the rain persists, we're actually going to move inside the venue um, so you can enjoy tea, coffee, and some light refreshments over there. Due to COVID regulations, I do need to say you need to keep your masks on, but due to the nature of the service, I don't think snotting your mask is going to be a great idea. And so you are welcome not to wear your masks. Jesus says to us, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall not die, but have eternal life. Luke has received eternal life. At this moment, I'm going to invite Gabriel and Shannon to come forward as they have a couple of words to share. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today, either here or watching on the live stream. We're not here, to, we, we are yet not only to say our final goodbyes to Luke, but we are here to celebrate his love. to celebrate the short life of Luke lived, that Luke lived with us for seven months and five days. Luke decided to join us a month earlier than expected. The June, 
June 5th, sorry, Gabriel wrote this in his spelling is inaccurate. The 15th of June 2021 at 13 minutes past five. He came into our lives. We were so grateful that we have a healthy baby, little boy, that was weighing 2.29 kgs and had all his toes and fingers. Luke really changed our lives. Grateful that we had a healthy boy, so we thought. The last boy in our family was born in 1994. I never thought I'd be the father that if someone sh just asked about Luke, I would wipe out my phone just to show them how big he was, how big he was getting and what the new things he was doing. Or how easy it was to tickle Luke under, to tickle Luke under his arms, under his arms and neck. How, we enjoyed, how he enjoyed being thrown side to side and wait for him to start screaming with laughter. Even after going through two heart surgeries, Luke was still such a strong, happy baby. Just coming home from work and walking into the room and calling out Lukey Pookie and watching his little goofy smile that he always gave us. <laughs> Lucky was shy and happy to see a friendly face in front of him. Watching all the videos that we have taken of Luke just brings back good memories that we'll never forget how happy that little boy made us. The best video for me was when Shannon was sticking out her tongue and Luke was so confused about what was going on, what was his mother doing to him and finally Luke caught on and stuck his little tongue out too. I know we have kept it a little secret to ourselves but the week that Luke passed away he started speaking. He started his t first two words and that was Mama and Baba. Thank you so much for all the flowers, all the calls and messages. It really means a lot to us and our families. Luke will always be a part of our little family and he'll never be forgotten about. Rest in peace, daddy's mommy and dad, daddy and mommy's big boy. Is there anybody else that might want to share a couple of words? Okay. Shall we pray? Eternal God, you are the Lord of life. You are indeed the conqueror of death. You are our help in every time of trouble. We therefore ask that you would comfort us who mourn and give us grace, that in the presence of death we can worship you, that we may have sure hope of eternal life in being able to put our whole trust in your goodness and your mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we are met in the solemn moment to commend Luke into the hands of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. In the presence of death, Christians have sure ground for hope and confidence and I dare even say joy because the Lord Jesus Christ who shed our human life and death was raised again triumphant and lives forevermore. In him people find eternal life. Let us then in humble trust hear the words of Holy Scripture. When I met with Shannon and Gabriel, we chose two passages of Scripture to share today. The first is Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. Matthew 5, verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. And then the second passage is from Matthew 19, verse 13 to 15. Then little children were brought to Jesus to, for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there just so far in God's word.
let me start off by speaking about Matthew 5. It speaks about a light, it speaks about lighting a lamp. And when you light something up, you don't hide it. It actually illuminates everything around it. Luke, the name actually means light giver or bringer of light and of joy. And for seven months, that's exactly what Luke did. Even after his surgeries, he would giggle, he would smile, he would scream, the nice scream, not the bad one. He lived his life the best that he knew that he could. And he was sent, I honestly believe, to bring light, to bring joy. And when Shannon and Gabriel met with me, they spoke so fondly of the joy that he brought them. Of the love that he shared with them. Now I need to speak to Shannon and Gabriel specifically. God blessed you with Luke and he brought you light and he brought you joy. But that's not all that Luke brought into your lives. Luke loved you with all of his heart. And I want to say the reason why he loved you is because he only knew love. The two of you enfolded him in your love before he even arrived. He was loved. And he still loved and that love will never end. And so as he came into this world and he experienced your love and the family and friends love for him, that's what he knew. And that is why that is what he shared with you. I can only imagine when, when you got home and you called him that he would light up because he heard your voice and he knew your voice. He loved the two of you because he only experienced your love for him. I don't want to discard the parents, the uncles, the aunts, cousins. Because of your love for him, there was just such an immense love that he was able to offer. And so if you look at the photographs that we've got around, I don't see a sad baby boy. I see someone that smiled. That just in his face you could see his love. That you could see that he experienced blessings. Unconditional love. Even when Gabriel was throwing him in the air. Even when Gabriel was pulling him across the bed. Or tickling him under his arms. So much so that he would giggle with glee. Or watching twirly words. I had to go look. I had to go look that up. I was like, what on earth? He would scream of pure enjoyment. We live in a broken world. A world that doesn't make sense. The disciples in Matthew 19 were chasing parents away, were chasing children away. Because they did not want Jesus Christ to be disturbed. And Jesus stopped them because Jesus recognized that children are important. Jesus recognized that you and I are children of God Almighty. And I want to say today that God is not exempt from pain and suffering and that God is present with us today and in this moment God grieves with us. I cannot tell you why. I don't have an answer. And for anybody to give an answer to why this has happened would be very silly and careless of them. We live in a broken world and in that brokenness there is pain and suffering and even death. But I want to give you the assurance today that death is not the end. That Jesus Christ came and he came to give us life ever after. He came to give us a life that far exceeds the light of this world, far exceeds the joy of this world, far exceeds the love of this world. And so I want to give you the assurance today that I honestly believe that Luke is in the loving arms of Father God. He may have left you physically, but he's in the arms of Almighty God. 
if I may be so bold. I want to challenge each and every person present here, even those online. I believe Luke gave us a life lesson to be happy, to bring light into people's lives, to bring joy into people's lives. But most importantly, I believe Luke taught us to seize the day and to love. He knew how to love because that's all he experienced. And love costs us nothing. And when we are loved like Luke was loved, unconditionally, then we will be able to respond and share that love. Have you ever smiled at somebody? What's their natural response? Unless they're in a bad mood. They smile back. Not so. You guys offered Luke love. And his response was to love you back. And the challenge that I want to say that we need to take up is a life lesson from Luke. And that is to love unconditionally. He didn't know the brokenness of the world. He didn't know the pain and suffering. But what he did know was love unconditional love from awesome parents an awesome family I'm going to end here and ask that we spend a couple of moments in silence allow those memories and moments with Luke to flood your mind and allow you to experience his unconditional love for you I say again he may not physically be with you but Luke lives on in your memories and in those special moments Today, with heavy hearts, we celebrate his life. We celebrate the light that he offered unconditionally, and we celebrate the love that he offered so freely. I'm going to invite us to bow our heads and spend a moment in silence. Let us pray. Praise and honor, glory and thanks be given to you, almighty God, our Father. Because in your great love for the world, you gave us your Son to be our Savior, to live our life, to bear our griefs, and to die our death upon the cross. We thank you because Jesus has conquered sin and death for us and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Eternal God, in your wisdom and grace, you have given us joy through the life of Luke. We thank you for Luke and for our memories of him. We praise you for your goodness and mercy that followed Luke all the days of his life and for his faithfulness to the small tasks that you called him to. We thank you that for Luke the tribulation of this world is over and that death is past. And we pray that you will bring us with him to the joy of your perfect kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As Gabriel said earlier, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching online. Thank you for your support, your messages, your emails, your phone calls. They've really made the last 10 or so days not bearable, but easier. As I said earlier, there's going to be tea and coffee served, refreshments when we conclude. Um, I know there is juice thereafter, and there is a cash bar. Um, I'm not too sure what we're going to do, if we're going to do the balloon straight away, or you guys want to wait until it's a little bit darker. We'll wait, okay. And so I'm going to ask at this point that we stand together as we do the committal. For as much as this child, Luke, is in the care of Almighty God, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Lord God, we thank you that we have the assurance that we will meet Luke again. Lord, we pray, and in Jesus Christ's name, your care for the little children in this present life. And we know and ask and give thanks to you for the life that you have prepared for them. A life to come home where they may behold your father's face. We thank you for the assurance that, you have, that we have received in knowing that Luke Eric Yonker is in your loving arms. For you have said, let the children come to me. For to such as these belongs the kingdom of heaven. We thank you for your peace, your comfort and your strength. And continue to pray that over this family, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. You may be seated. So we are now just going to check with the venue about the tea, coffee and eats. And then we will... Okay, there is the three minute slideshow. Sorry. Okay, uh, we've had the request that we're going to move that into the venue. Um, it just makes it easier with the sound as well, I think. Okay. Do you guys want to move into the venue now then? Okay, if I can invite everybody to quickly brave the rain, the easiest is just along the path, or there is no path, but through the gates here up to the venue. If you'd like to make your way there now, please.
for you I bleed myself dry
No, don't look at the camera. What you doing, Loki? Love for me. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, hey, hey. Look oh. here. <laughs> look here. Hey, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Love, 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 love. Nyam, 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 nyam. Hey. He looks so fat in the photos and camera. Tasty. Come open, open, open. Um. This is nice. Get more. No, 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 come open, open, open. <laughs> What's this? What's this? What's this? Look, look, hey, what's this, what's this, what's this, <laughs> um, nom, 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 you want more, you want more, you want more, you want more, <laughs> you want more, you want more, No, don't look at the camera. What you doing, Loki? Love for me. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, hey, hey. Look here. <laughs> look here. Hey, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Love, 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 love. Nyam, 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 nyam. Hey. He looks so fat in the photos and camera. No licking, Ollie, no licking.